Hey guys, this is Bob and I'm sitting down in the basement gun shop again and I'm going to take a minute to talk a little bit about scope ring height. Seems like there's a lot of questions floating around of what scope ring height do I need for my new Arcan Optic? Or I'm upgrading from my SH4 Gen 2 to a new EP5. What scope ring height should I get? Maybe I ordered the Precision Pack and it's coming with a set of rings. I'm going to take a minute to show you guys a few rifles and a few setups that maybe will help you decide what scope ring height or setup best suits your rig. Okay, and I flipped her around and here we go. So this first setup I'm going to show you is an SH4 Gen 2. Now this setup is on a Ruger Precision Rifle, happens to be the 22 long rifle, but it is using the Arkin Rigid Mount. Now this setup would be really similar to anybody running an AR platform or any type of chassis on their rifle that has a covered barrel. Now you can see the 50 millimeter bell of the SH4 Gen 2 with the arc and rigid mount has plenty of room. Enough room that the EP5 and the 56 millimeter bell would fit just fine. So this is the arc and rigid mount with the SH4 Gen 2 set up on a Ruger Precision. Again, would be a similar setup to any of the AR type platforms or chassis that have a covered barrel. Now I'm going to move on down to a couple more standard setups. Again, we have another SH4 Gen 2. Now this has arc and low rings, and this is a 15 MOA rail on a CZ457, which is really a platform that is similarly shaped to a Remington 700 with a standard profile barrel. And again, lots of room for that bell to clear. So a setup like this, the 15 MOA rail, now take note of how thick it is with arc and low rings. Clears quite fine and again the EP5 would fit just fine. Now this one here, this center fire rifle is a Hawa and again another SH4 Gen 2. Again low rings. Now this is a 20 MOA rail and there is a scope chap on here but if I can get this just right for you to see there is a good deal of space between the scope bell and the barrel. Now this isn't a real heavy barrel. You can see from the shank on down, it does come down. In my opinion, the low rings of the EP5 setup would still fit on here, but your bell would be really close, but it would fit. So this is a Hawa which again would be very, very similar to a Remington 700. And you can see how much room there is. You will notice running the arc and low rings that this housing of your scope comes extremely close to your rail. There's always enough room in there. It doesn't touch, but it's very tight. You know, these rings are about as low as you could ever get. Now I'm going to switch this over to a rifle that's set up uh, with the EP5 on it. Okay, and here we go. So here's your EP5. Now, these are not Arkin rings. These are Badger rings. And these rings, even though they're Badger low rings, these rings sit about, I would say, an eighth of an inch higher than the Arkin low rings. Uh, there's a little bit more of a gap underneath here than with the arc and low rings. However, again, with the 56 millimeter bell, I again, you can notice significant room with my barrel here, even up to the shank here. Now I would have to move this thing forward so this would clear, the bell would clear the end of the rail here, but I'm confident with this setup, the EP5, if I were to run the arc and rings, I could indeed run the low rings and still have enough room. If you were running a center fire rifle with a Remington 700 uh, action or one of the clones or something similar, if you're running an extremely heavy barrel, you may want to go to the mediums. In all other cases, and even in this case, you should be able to get away with the arc and low rings.
All right, so there are a few setups with the SH4 Gen 2 and the EP5. Now, I know a lot of people are going to want to argue you do not have to slam the scope that low. It's overrated. It doesn't have to be set as far down as it can go. And I'm not going to argue one way or the other, and I would say in most cases you're right. Um, a lot of people, however, are going to find they like to get the scope low because they may have a rifle like this one that they don't have an adjustable comb riser on here, or they don't have a piece of pad or anything added to it to get a good cheap weld to get a proper line of sight through their scope, so they like to get it low. Um, you can't add things to these. Most of my rifles, I've either got a pad added to them or this is adjustable. Um, so that is a valid point. Um, when in doubt, again, with the Arcan Optics and their rings, the low will work. Uh, if you're not interested in your neck being craned like this and it's not comfortable and you can't get ergonomic with your shooting, definitely pick the ring height that's going to work best for you to be comfortable, get a nice, stable, consistent platform. But there's a lot of people who are simply trying to know, will my scope clear with the low, medium, or do I need the rigid mount? So I hope these few examples uh, help you guys better decide uh, if you're waiting on your order and you need to adjust it, or if you're getting ready to place an order. So hope that helps. Again, don't forget to use the code ROC. Uh, get yourself in the running for a free uh, optic giveaway with Randall. And other than that, get out there and shoot.